Saturday morning, and it was wet, very wet, but little did I know, it was going to get wetter. But it was worth it, to see models like this, this little gem parked at the side of the runway. Little beauty, isn't it? But these chaps brave the weather, with not having too much electronics on, I don't think the rain does them any harm. Dressed up in their wet weather gear, they persevered. And midday, Saturday, it did dry up, for a while. But worse was to come, during the night. But now it is teasing us. The sun is shining, but they're still wearing their wet weather gear. Who could blame them? Because if you get wet, it's miserable, as I was to find out on Saturday night. Most of the disciplines are shown here as rubber powered, engine powered and gliders. And also there was a rocket section. And they do travel a long way and you either have to go a long way on foot, walking or, as many do, on a bike or the laid back way, take the car. Most of the models that I remember as a youngster can be found here at this meeting today rubber powered although we didn't have rubber powered tailors but we did have the gypsy contester type model and there was the gliders not as high tech as these but you do see some in the vintage glider section the keelcraft chief and that sort of thing and then there was the slicker which was our contest type model but you don't see them here they're much more high tech these they've got now and the electric versions of them a lot quieter than what we used to call the Screamers. And now, there's another interesting part here at the Free Flight Nationals. They have a rocket section. Quite interesting to watch. Some spout wings, some spout blades, and some come down on a parachute. How they manage to find them in the vast expanse of this airfield, I don't know, but they do. late afternoon on Saturday and the storm clouds are gathering again. A quick glimpse of two aircraft from the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight passing over in the distance and the rain clouds are getting stronger and the rain's here so it's a quick dash to the butty wagon to get some warm sustenance and take it back to the campsite where it was absolutely whittling down Sunday morning, the morning after a very wet night. It dawned misty but with promise and by 11 o'clock in time for the Bowden Trophy the sun started to shine favourably on this event as it usually does. It is the showpiece event, draws the biggest crowd but this year I think numbers were down there weren't so many people here. That was in general throughout the entire weekend and there is that very nice model again. The owner, Terry Aiden, did tell me what it was, but I've forgotten. Maybe some of you there can tell us what it is again. Just put it in the comments at the bottom. Maybe this will be our last Barkston, if rumours are correct. I personally hope that the powers that be will allow us to carry on for some time yet. It is a national event. In fact, the BMFA have two national events on this airfield. And if we use it responsibly, maybe there will be a change of view and we will be allowed to go on. that 
we had They were so good We shared our dreams